challenges. Second Samuel 3 verse 1. Now there was a long warfare between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David grew stronger and stronger and the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. I prophesy into your life that you shall grow stronger and stronger, whereas your enemies grow weaker and weaker. In the name of Jesus, I want you to prophesy, I am growing stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. During this fasting and praying, I'm growing stronger and stronger. During this fasting and praying, I'm growing stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus. I'm growing stronger and stronger by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. I'm growing stronger and stronger by the power in the blood of Jesus. I'm growing stronger and stronger in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am growing stronger and stronger. I want you to prophesy. You can type it out. I am growing stronger and stronger. No matter what battles I'm facing, I'm growing stronger and stronger. Whatever what challenges I'm facing, I'm growing stronger and stronger. Whatever weakness I'm feeling in my body, I'm growing stronger and stronger. Whatever disease or sickness I've been diagnosed with, I am growing stronger and stronger. Whatever witchcraft attacks I'm experiencing, I am just growing stronger and stronger no matter whatever enemies that are advancing against me i am growing stronger and stronger i prophesy i prophesy into my body into my soul into my spirit i prophesy into my life that i am growing stronger and stronger i am growing stronger and stronger i am growing stronger and stronger jesus is making me stronger jesus is making me stronger he's making me stronger than my enemies he's making me stronger by my than my adversaries he's making me stronger than every bad attack against me. He's making me stronger than every spell. He's making me stronger than every curse. He's making me stronger than every charm. He's making me stronger than any hexes. He's making me stronger than any voodoo, any obia, any santaria, any enchantment, any bewitchment, any cortex practices against me. God is making me stronger. My God is making me stronger. Jesus is making me stronger. The Holy Ghost is making me stronger. My Heavenly Father is making me stronger. The blood of Jesus is making me stronger. I am growing stronger. I'm going stronger. I'm going stronger. My enemies don't understand it, but I'm growing stronger. They are attacking me, but I'm growing stronger. They are attacking my marriage, but I'm growing stronger. They are attacking my children, but I'm growing Growing stronger. They're attacking my health, but I'm growing stronger. They're attacking my business, my job, my profession, my career, but I'm growing stronger. They're attacking my destiny, my glory, my star, but I'm still growing stronger. They are releasing every doubt and every obstacles and every attack to stop me, to frustrate me. But in spite of all that my enemies are doing against me, I'm still growing stronger. They are lying against me, but I'm growing stronger. They are slandering me, but I'm growing stronger. They are smearing all sort of things and accusing me falsely but and lying on me and ridiculing me and laughing at me and they wish me dead they wish me destroyed they wish me perish but yet still in spite of all that my enemies are doing i am still what growing stronger and stronger i'm growing stronger i'm growing stronger somebody receive the anointing of the holy ghost to grow stronger you are growing stronger than the spirit husband you are growing stronger than the spirit wife you are growing stronger than the incubus spirit you are growing stronger than the succubus spirit you are growing stronger than that witch that wizard that is fighting you in your dreams you are growing stronger than every family altar you are growing stronger than any agent of darkness any inflexible unreasonable wicked person that is opposing resisting you and frustrating your life god is giving you the anointing to make you stronger and stronger than your enemies it doesn't matter what current situation you are facing right now i came to prophesy to you that you are growing stronger the doctors may have, might have given up on you their diagnosis doesn't look well good but god is making you stronger you overcome that cancer you overcome that diabetes you overcome every covid you overcome every health challenge you overcome every Every sickness, every disease, every ailment in your body, any infirmity, because Jehovah is making you stronger. Whatever attacks you are going through in your marriage, God is giving you strength. It doesn't matter the confusion, the strife, the misunderstanding, the chaos, the division, the, the separation or the divorce. God is still making you stronger. He's making you stronger. Your enemies want you to be worried. Your enemies want you to be exhausted. Your enemies want you to quit. Your, en your enemies want you to be tired and give up. But God is giving you strength to make you strong. Stronger. Yes, you have. You might have failed in the past. You might have been defeated in the past. But now, Jehovah God is making me stronger. He 
is making you stronger. I dare you to prophesy that I'm growing stronger and stronger. I am growing stronger and stronger. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the living God, I am growing stronger and stronger. I am marching forward. I'm pressing on. I'll fulfill dreams and visions. God's purpose will come to pass in my life. I prophesy into my life. I prophesy into my destiny. I prophesy unto my marriage. I prophesy into my family. I prophesy into my son's life, my daughter's life, my children's life. I prophesy into my marriage that we are growing stronger. My marriage will stand. My marriage will survive. I'm growing stronger. My enemies will never prevail over me, prevail against me because Jehovah God is making me stronger. The Lord is with me. The Lord is with you. If God be for you, if God be for me, who can be against us? Those with us are more numerous than those who are against us. Jehovah God is with you. The Holy Ghost is with you. The Father is on your side. You cannot be defeated. You cannot lose. You will emerge victorious. God is making me stronger and stronger. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So the Bible says that there was a long warfare between the house of Saul and the house of David. However, David grew stronger in the name that is above every name. As we are fasting and waiting on the Lord, receive grace, receive strength, receive anointing to be stronger than every opposing antithetical force, every opposing force, any adversary, every agent, every strong man that has risen up against you. May God make you stronger to overcome the Goliath, to overcome every giant, to overcome every mountain, to overcome every red sea, to overcome every walls of Jericho, to overcome every enemy that is advancing against you. Receive grace to subdue your enemies under your feet because Jesus is making you stronger. I see somebody coming through. God is giving you victory over your present situation in the mighty name of Jesus. I am growing stronger and stronger. Type it. Pro prophesy it. Prophesy it into your life. Nobody can do it for you. You can do it for yourself. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. What you say is what you see. What you say is what you see. What you say is what you see. Your confession becomes your possession. What you say is what you see. If you can say it, you can see it. If you can confess it, you can possess it. Oh God is making me stronger in the name of Jesus. I'm going from glory to glory. Because the Lord is my strength. He is my salvation. He will give us victory. He will make a way. He will part the Red Sea. He will give us victory to subdue our enemies under our feet in the name of Jesus. There was a long warfare. Yes, you've been through some long battles, long challenges. You've been unemployed for long. You have endured bad marriage for long. You have been ridiculed for long. You have been persecuted for long. You've been through tribulations and trials for long. Yes, people have lied on you and have has, has leveled false accusation on you. You have experienced witchcraft attacks for long. You have gone through delay and stagnation for long. You've been defeated. You have failed many times for long. You have experienced spiritual marriage for so long. You have been barren for so long. You have been tired and worn out and despaired and discouraged for so long. You have been depressed and anxious and fearful for so long. But I came to tell you that today, right now, it is your season for God expiring. God is expiring your long warfare. God is bringing that long warfare to an expiration. It is expiring by fire. Say it expires by fire. It expires by fire. My long battles are expiring by fire because God is making me stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what long battles you are going through. God is coming through for you. God is making a way for you. God is bringing an end. God is going to make sure that that long-standing problem cease and desist from manifesting in your life. No more will you struggle anymore. No more will you go through difficulties anymore. No more will you go through hardships anymore. No more will you be ridiculed. No more will they laugh at you, scoff at you. No more will they be no more will they be ignoring you, rejecting you, overlooking you anymore. God is turning situations around. It is your season. It's your time doing this fasting. God is visiting your marriage. God is visiting your son. God is visiting your health. God is visiting your finances. God is visiting your home. Something is about to change. The long-standing battle is currently coming to an end. The long-standing battle. You have gone through some midnight crisis for so long. You have gone through some midnight crisis for so long. People don't know the many tears you shed 
every night. People don't know how you're unable to sleep. People don't know the medications you must take before you can go to bed. People don't know how, how, how depressed and how fearful you are because of challenges that you are going through. People, don't, people have no idea. The pain, the hurt you are going through, but that long-standing pain, God is bringing to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Your problem, your long-standing problem expires in the name of Jesus. There was a long warfare and the Lord made David grow stronger and stronger and his enemies started growing weaker and weaker. I came to prophesy to you, your enemies, your adversaries, your foes, your critics, your haters, they are going to grow weaker and weaker. Your your problems are going to grow weaker and weaker until they disappear in the name of Jesus. I want you to prophesy that I prophesy that my enemies are growing weaker and weaker. Let my enemies grow weaker and weaker. Let the witches grow weaker and weaker. Let the wizards grow weaker and weaker. Let the warlocks grow weaker and weaker. Let the agent of darkness grow weaker and weaker. Let every unclean spirit, demonic spirit that attacks me grow weaker and weaker. Let the family altar fighting my star and destiny and my marriage and my finances grow weaker and weaker. Let every curse on my life and family grow weaker and weaker. Those who are hating on me, let them grow weaker and weaker. Those who are criticizing me, let them grow weaker and weaker. Those who are persecuting me, let them grow weaker and weaker. Every sickness in my body, every cancerous cells grow weaker and weaker. Every diabetes grow weaker and weaker. Every high blood pressure grow weaker and weaker. Every ulcer, every abdominal problems grow weaker and weaker. Every blood related issues in your body grow weaker and weaker. Every attack on your colon, every attack on your liver, every attack on your prostate, every attack on your heart, every attack on your lungs, every attack on your kidney, any attack on your intestines, any attack on your health, it's growing weaker and weaker. Sickness, disease, infirmities are growing weaker and weaker in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Depression is growing weaker and weaker. Fear is disappearing. Every attack on your marriage, every spirit of divorce, separation is growing weaker and weaker. Incubus, succubus, they are growing weaker and weaker. Family altars, witchcraft attacks are growing weaker. They are growing weaker. They are growing weaker. They are growing weaker. They are growing weaker. I prophesy that my enemies, my problems, my adversaries are growing weaker and weaker. I want you to type, my enemies are growing weaker and weaker. My problems are growing weaker and weaker. My enemies, I'm prophesying that you are growing weaker. Those who rise up against me, you are growing weaker. Those who are bewitching me, you are growing weaker. Those who are using my properties, my items on your evil altar to do enchantment against, against me, you are growing weaker and weaker. Those who have been secretly ganging up, conspiring and plotting and devising evil and mischief against me, you are growing weaker and weaker. Those who laugh with me in the physical but fight me spiritually, you are growing weaker and weaker. Those who are deceiving me that they are my friends or family members, my relations, but spiritually they are fighting and opposing me. They are growing weaker and weaker. Internal enemies are growing weaker and weaker. External enemies are growing weaker and weaker. Anyone who is an agent planted in my life to oppose me from fulfilling God's purpose for my life, I prophesy against you that you are growing weaker and weaker. I prophesy against the witch. I prophesy against every wizard. I prophesy against principalities, powers, rulers, spiritual wickedness in high places, any agent of darkness, every unclean spirit, Every attack of the enemy against your life, against your husband, against your son, against your daughter, against your destiny. I prophesy against your enemies that they are going weaker. They are growing weaker. They are growing weaker in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May our enemies grow weaker. May every problem you are facing financially grow weaker. May every problem you are facing maritally grow weaker. May every problem you are facing health-wise grow weaker. May every attack on your destiny begin to grow weaker and weaker and weaker. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to lift up your voice with me and pray. Father, let my enemies and my problems begin to grow weaker and weaker. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Let my enemies, let my enemies, let my enemies, let my enemies, let them begin to grow weaker. Yes, let my enemies, let my enemies, let my enemies, let my enemies, every witch, every wizard, every strong man, every strong woman, spirit of death, spirit of destruction, spirit of waste, spirit of confusion, spirit of separation, spirit of intimidation, spirit of terror. I command you to grow weaker, grow weaker. Let our enemies, let them grow weaker, let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker. 
Let them grow weaker in the name of Jesus. Rabas kata rababos. Henda la bababa. Repanda la babos. Repando lobo sekate. Mekanda la bababa. Meka la bababa. Let your enemies. Let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker in the name of Jesus. Every problem that has risen up against you, any spirit behind that problem to bring you down, to frustrate you, to destroy you. May your problems, may your challenges, may your crisis, may every situation you are passing through, you are going through, begin to grow weaker and weaker. Grow weaker and weaker. Begin to prophesy. I prophesy against every problem that the devil has released against my marriage, against my health, against my finances, against my son, my daughter, against my destiny. Let my problems, let my challenges, let every situation I'm passing through, going through right now, begin to grow weaker and weaker. 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 Wicca and Wicca, Wicca and Wicca, Rabba Baba 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 Riba da ba da ba dus, raba da ba da ba. Riba da ba da ba dus, raba da ba da ba. Riba da ba da ba dus, raba da ba la. Riba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Kura ba kacha raba da ba. Riba da ba da ba dus, kabra ba da ba dus, kubra kacha ba. Riba da ba da ba raba da ba, kubra ba da ba da ba. Every power against someone, so let's set up against his speech, against his memory, against his attention, against his good, against development. Every power against my son's speech, my son's memory, my son's attention, my friendship. Let it go weaker, let it go weaker. Let every heart is beginning to go weaker and weaker. Let every I can't against my family, against my family, against my family, now against my destiny, whatever I fight to do, Lord of my life, you need to go with my wicca, and the price will go with my wicca, and go with my fear, go with my wicca, because that is not to go with my wicca, Rabba Dabba Dabba, Riba Dabba Dabba, Riba Dabba Dabba Dabba, Riba Dabba Dabba Sukabala, Riba Dabba Sukabala Dabba, Riba Dabba Dabba, Riba Dabba Dabba, Riba Dabba 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 Dabba Riba da ba da ba, riba da ba da ba da ba, kukura ba da, riba da ba da ba, riba da ba da ba da ba da ba, sikidi sikidi, riba da ba da ba da ba da ba, riba da ba da ba da ba, riba da ba da ba da ba da ba, sakara ba ba, riba ba 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 ba, riba ba 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 ba, riba ba 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 ba, riba ba 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 ba, riba 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 ba ba ba. Riba ba ba ba, riba da ba 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 the devil has entered and have accessed a personality and the person is beginning to trouble you. The person is beginning to oppose you. The person is beginning to be make your life miserable and frustrate you. You are going to pray that any spirit that has entered into that person, that person could have been entered Access through in your marriage, access at your workplace, access and your as your 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 roommate, somebody close to you. The enemy has entered, and the devil is using that person to frustrate you, to torment you, to harass you, to disturb you, and the person become a stumbling block, an encumbrance, a, a hindrance to your progress. Sometimes you are looking for uh, to get into a school, and somebody doesn't want to give you the. The admission. Sometimes you want to pass an exam and a, a professor wants to fail you. Sometimes it's a court case and then you are having a very mean judge who doesn't show you any favor and, and, and doesn't want to rule things against you. Somebody you are faced with an opposing person who represents a pharaoh. The enemy is using them to oppose you, to stop your advancement and to to, to stifle your joy and your destiny. Father, whoever has risen up against me, let the power of that personality begin to grow weaker and weaker. Maybe they have risen up against you at your workplace. They are intimidating you. They are persecuting you. They are frustrating you. They are lying on you. They are making your, your stay at your workplace miserable. They are making your stay in your marriage miserable. Somebody within your own family or your husband's family has risen up against your marriage, tormenting you and you're unhappy. Mother, Mother's Day and yesterday, there's no peace in your marriage. 
marriage. Why? Because one person says that I will not let you have any peace in your marriage. Whoever it is that says that do not let me have peace. Whoever it is that they say I do not let me have joy. Whoever it is that they will say do not let me fulfill God's purpose. Whoever it is that they say that do not let me occupy my possession and fulfill God's purpose for my life. Father, let their powers of witchcraft, their powers of hostility become weaker and weaker. Let them grow weaker and weaker. I prophesy against my enemies, the wicked, the inflexible, unreasonable, wicked personalities. Let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker. Let them grow weaker. As I begin to pray, let their powers grow weak. Until I vanquish them, until I defeat them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says there was a long warfare between the house of Saul and the house of David. David grows, grew stronger and stronger. David grew stronger and stronger. But Saul, his enemy, grew weaker and weaker. There are some of you, demons are tormenting you. A demon is afflicting you. A demon is harassing you. A demon is afflicting you. It's frustrating you. A demon is torturing you, torturing you, tormenting you. You are under the oppression, suppression, and repression of a demonic entity. And it's about time you confront that demon. If you keep on running and being afraid of that demon, that demon who keep on oppressing you, tormenting you, afflicting you, intimidating you, and stealing your joy and your peace. It is about time you begin to confront that demon. It could be a spirit husband. It could be a spirit wife. An incubus spirit, a sakabu spirit. A demon of infirmity that is afflicting your health. A demon of poverty that is causing you not to be able to get some financial blessing. A demon of defeat and failure that is causing you to fail and, and to be defeated. A demon that is causing delay in your life. No matter how you try, you are delayed. You are stuck in life. It's a demon. There's a demon. There's a demon. It could be a witchcraft that is tormenting and afflicting you. There's a demon that has entered into your marriage. There's a witchcraft that has entered into your marriage, bringing confusion, conflict, misunderstanding, strife, and friction between you and your husband that there's lack of communication, lack of intimacy lack of um, understanding, transparency nothing is going on in the marriage because a demon has taken residence in your family, in your marriage but today I came in the name of the Lord God Almighty who says that David grew stronger and stronger whilst Saul grew weaker and weaker, you are going to pray in the mighty name of Jesus, any demon tormenting me, any witchcraft attacking me, I command you to become weaker and weaker until you become impotent until you become more 
non-functional in my life and you you are defeated and you are destroyed in Jesus name I command every demon to grow weaker and weaker until you perish I command every witchcraft to grow weaker and weaker until you perish I command every witchcraft I command every demonic entity every principality of power that is fighting my marriage fighting my health fighting my finances fighting my children fighting my destiny grow weaker and weaker until you become impotent on become you become non-functional more functional until you lose your power and your hold in my life father as I begin to pray let any demonic entity let every witchcraft entity fighting me in my dreams fighting me in my health fighting my son fighting my daughter to cause them to be rebellious to cause them to be disobedient to cause them to be disrespectful to cause them to be insubordinate let them let that demonic entity that is attacking my children let that demonic entity causing me to lose money left right center let that demonic entity that's causing me not to be able to sleep but have causing me to have nightmare let that evil spirit begin to grow weaker and weaker and impotent weaker and weaker and impotent until that spirit will perish in the name of jesus let that witchcraft grow weaker and weaker until it becomes impotent until it becomes non-functional non-functional in my life until it perish in the name of jesus as i begin to pray let my enemies let every demonic entity let every witchcraft entity begin to grow weaker and weaker until it perish until it perish <laughs> Let my enemies grow weaker. Let them 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 become important. Let them become important. Let them become important. I render their powers null and void. I render their powers null and void. I render their powers null and void. Let them perish. Let every strong man, every strong woman in your life, in your family, grow weaker. Rabasco Perakata. Magora Baskata. Let them perish in the name of Jesus. Let them perish by the blood of Jesus. Let them perish by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Mantole Bede. Makarabaraba. Let my enemies, let the witches, let the wizards, let spirit of us, familiar spirit, ancestral spirit, monetary spirit in my life. Grow weak up, grow weak up, grow weak up, grow weak up. Let them become important, let them become important, let them become important. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you yesterday, if you don't learn to pray this kind of prayers, and you don't learn to pray aggressively, and you don't pray fervently, then you are a joker until now, because it's a long warfare, and for you to win, you must learn to pray.
you must learn to engage you must learn to confront what is confronting you if you don't confront what is confronting you you will keep on running away and will keep on chasing you and they'll keep on oppressing you tormenting you afflicting you frustrating you harassing you why because they know that they can molest you they can bully you and you will not fight back but i dare you today grow weak grow stronger and stronger and let them begin to grow weaker and weaker and run away from your life in the mighty name of jesus our last prayer pray it and get your deliverance pray your last prayer and get your victory in the name of jesus the bible says in second samuel verse 3 and now there was a long warfare between the house of david the house of saul and now there was a long warfare between the house of saul and the house of david but the but david's house the but david grew stronger and stronger whilst Saul grew weaker and weaker so there was a long warfare between the house of saul and the house of david but david's kingdom grew stronger and stronger whereas Saul's kingdom grew weaker and weaker. I prophesy that today you are growing stronger and stronger by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Today, your enemies are growing weaker and weaker until they become impotent, until God renders their powers and their influence and their activities in your life null and void, non-functional, non-functioning in the name of Jesus until they perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, you are receiving your deliverance, your liberty from that spirit husband, from that witchcraft attacks, that demonic entity, that familiar spirit, that monitoring spirit, that incubus sakabu spirit, that witchcraft power, its power over your life is broken in the name of Jesus because the Lord has become your strength. But the last prayer, the, the Bible says, now there was a long warfare, a long warfare. Enough is enough. You've, you have tolerated you have tolerated long battles for too long. You have been unemployed for long. You have been barren for long. You have been single for long. You have been unhappy for long. You have been depressed for long. You have been out of job, unemployed for long. You have been, you have been going through frustration for long. It is about time you begin to receive your liberation, your emancipation, and your independence in the name of Jesus. Whatever battles you've been going through, you, are, are you not sick and tired of long-standing health issues every day, every day surgery, every day diagnosis, every day this, every day that? Today, God is bringing the long-standing problems to an end long-standing battles at your workplace long-standing battles in your marriage long-standing battles with your son every day having problem in school every day having issues with their classes every day teachers and parents meeting talking about your son not listening every day your son daughter finding themselves in trouble every day problems in your home problems in final with your finances every day struggling before you can make it are you not tired of the long-standing delay stagnation retrogression stagnancy and, and the, the cycle of unproductivity you are working so hard but you don't see where you are going with your life the bible says there was a long warfare today as i begin to pray as you begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus, let every long-standing protracted battles in my life expire by fire. Every long-standing battles in my marriage expire by fire. Every long-standing sickness expire by fire. Every long-standing witchcraft expire by fire. Every long-standing attack causing depression, anxiety, and fear expire by fire. Every long-standing defeat and failure expire by fire. Every long-standing sickness and disease and premature death in my bloodline expire by fire. Every long-standing divorce and separation expire by fire in my life every long-standing issues that is keeping me backwards begin to expire begin to expire in the name of jesus whether it's defeat whether it's failure whether it is any anything that is holding you back let the problem that has been keeping you in one spot begin to expire begin to expire begin to lift up your voice in the mighty name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost every long-standing battles in my life let that battle concerning my life concerning my husband concerning my children concerning my life be attained my marriage or turn my job begin to expire by fire expire by fire expire by fire expire by fire as i begin to pray expire in the mighty name of jesus Ribada <laughs> 
We are going to pray for the woman. It's Mother's Day. Wherever you are, you are going to pray. Father, this day, I ask you for a special blessing. A special blessing. And you are going to name the blessing you want God to bless you with. Father, on this Mother's Day, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. If you're a man, you pray for your brother, your sisters, your, 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 your niece, your mother, your, 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 your friends, female friends. Father, remember me. If you are a woman on this platform, begin to pray that Father, remember me and bless me. Remember me and bless me. And be specific what blessing you need on this special day that the Lord will bless you. Some of you, you need the fruit of the womb. Some of you, you need marriage, a good husband. Some of you, you need God to restore your marriage. You need God to save your husband. You need God to touch your son and save your son. Touch your daughter, save your daughter. Some of you just need home, peace in your home. There's fire on the mountain. You need peace in your home. Some of you, you are struggling and dealing and battling with sickness and disease. Lord, heal my body now. I don't know what problem you are facing as a woman. You begin to pray. Some of you are single mothers raising children all by yourself. Lord, I need help. I need divine helper. I need you to send me somebody to come and help me carry this burden. It's too much for me. Some of you are unemployed. Father, help me and bless me with this a great job, a good job. Father, help me, O Lord, with finances. I don't know. We are praying for the women that the Lord will help them. The Lord will visit them. The Lord, on this special day, will remember them and release a blessing. Begin to open your mouth and ask God for to bless you, to bless you, to bless you. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. We pray for the mothers. That the Lord will be their strength. We pray for long life. We pray for good health. Every mother, every woman, every girl, child who is sick, may the Lord heal the sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are single, may the Lord bless them with good marriages and good families in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord touch your sons and daughters and save them. And may the Lord fill them with his spirit and help bless them to be a blessing to you in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are married. Let women who are married that the Lord will bring peace, understanding, love, harmony, tranquility, serenity in your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the favor of God. We pray for the goodness of God to come upon you. We pray that the Lord will bring you your soul, uh, your divine soul mate in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will not miss it. But the Lord himself will bring you a godly man, a God-fearing person who will come and marry you proper in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and call things which are not as though they were. We call forth your engagement. We call forth your marriage. We call forth your husband into existence. We call forth peace, understanding and love, tranquility and unity and love in your marriages. We pray for healing of your body. We pray that whatever you have lost in time past during this season, may the Lord restore. May the Lord restore. May the Lord replace. May the Lord bring restoration and restitution into your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord restore your glory. May the Lord restore your health. May the Lord restore your home. May the Lord restore your children. May the Lord restore your finances, your business, your visions in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch those of you who are women who are sick. 
May the Lord bring divine healing. I cast every cancerous cells out of your breast, out of your body. I cast every fibroid. I cast every lump sickness in the name of Jesus. I cast every menses, every menses, menstrual pain. I cast every woman problems, female issues. I cast it out of your body. I pray for those who are barren that the Lord will open their womb and bless them with the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. I pray for the salvation of your husband. I pray for the salvation of your sons and daughters. I pray that your children will grow to know God, to reverence God and serve the Lord and they'll grow and do well and excel in life and prosper in life in the name of Jesus. I pray for the protection of the Lord to come upon you. You shall not die young, you shall die, you shall live long to fulfill the purposes of God. I pray for long life for you. I pray for good health for you. I pray for prosperity. I pray that the Lord will fill you with his Holy Spirit, that you will be a woman of prayer and intercessor that will stand in the gap for your sons and daughters and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will fill you with the love of God, that you will love God with all your heart, soul and mind. I pray that the Lord will fill you with the love for his word, the love for evangelizing and saving souls for Christ. I pray that the Lord will visit your home, your life and transform you to become a powerful woman of God in the name of of Jesus Christ. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord wipe away your tears. May the Lord wipe away your tears. May the Lord wipe away your tears. May the Lord heal your broken heart. May the Lord heal every broken heart of every woman. May the Lord heal your broken heart in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bind up your wounds. May the Lord bind up your wounds from whoever hurt you, whoever exploited you, whoever took advantage of you. May the Lord heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds in the name of Jesus. May the Lord take away shame, reproach, disgrace away from you humiliation away from you may the lord clothe you and surround you with his favor like a shield in the name of jesus i rebuke and resist every attack of premature death away from you in the name of jesus christ may the lord give you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness receive the garment of praise receive the garment of praise receive beauty for ashes receive beauty for ashes receive beauty for ashes the oil of joy for the spirit of mourning receive receive the cloak of favor and acceptance i bless you i bless every woman i bless every single woman i bless every girl child i bless your your, your, your daughters, I bless them in the name of Jesus. May the purposes and the will of God concerning their lives manifest in the name of Jesus. Those of you believing God for marriage, may the Lord open the door. May the Lord open the gate, the gate of marriage to you in the name of Jesus. Receive your husband. Receive your godly husband. Receive your engagement ring, your wedding ring in the name of Jesus. May the Lord open the door for you to find your soulmate in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are unemployed. May the Lord open the door for you to get a job in the name of Jesus. Those who are going through pain in their marriage, confusion in their marriage, I pray for healing. I pray for restoration. I pray for understanding and love in your marriage. May the Lord Almighty visit your marriage with peace, understanding and love and harmony. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bring salvation to your husband. May the Lord bring unity between you and your husband. I rebuild the spirit of divorce separation in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit uh, that is opposing you. Any woman who is experiencing spiritual marriage, today I stand with you in prayer and break the covenant of spiritual marriage. I cast out that spirit away from you. I rebuke that spirit out of your life. From today, you will be able to marry. I rebuke that evil spirit away from your life. Every incubus spirit, every succubus spirit, every spirit husband, every spirit wife, I bind you and cast you out of every woman. In the name of Jesus, I chase you out of their life. I chase you out of their marital home. I chase you out of their lives. In the name of Jesus, you will not, you will not hold them hostage anymore. You will not steal and mortgage their blessing anymore. I rebuke release your blessing. I release your prosperity. I release your blessing, your prosperity and your breakthroughs for you right now. Receive the glory, the power and the anointing of God to become a woman that works in the prosperity and the glory and the holiness and righteousness of Jesus. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your family. 